What's up guys, welcome to this week's vlog. Have you guys ever used these salt lamps? Like, you must have, some of you out there must have used them. Today, I was wondering what the heck's going on with them, if they're real, if they work. If nothing else, they look nice. But I was just wondering what you guys thought, so we are gonna find out today if these things are real, if they're fake, what they do, how they work, let's get it. So I just did some Googling, and I uh, looked up some other YouTube videos, and I wanted to find out what the heck is going on with these salt lamps. Supposedly there's like fake Himalayan salt and real Himalayan salt, and none of that matters, I don't even care. I was just looking up if they do what they actually say they're supposed to. If you don't know, supposedly they release negative ions out into the air. The negative ions counteract the positive ions that are given off by TVs, cell phones, whatever. Um, they make dust stick together so it falls to the ground, all kinds of stuff like that. I don't even know if that's true, so I googled it, and you know what the internet said? First let me tell you what I think about this thing. I love it. Super warm light comes off of it, as you can see by this lit corner. And as you can see by this lit corner over here, it's super warm. So whether it works or not, it just looks nice. I mean, how can you go wrong with that? So if anything, whether the results are that it doesn't work, it doesn't do what it's supposed to, it looks super cool. So if anything, it gives a really warm atmosphere to rooms and it keeps it cozy and it's kind of like a talking piece like you don't usually see a rock lit up in people's houses although these are becoming pretty popular but all things considered i think it looks really cool so we're going to start with that in that some of it is personal preference and personal taste if you like them what the heck they're not that expensive just go buy one guys it's tragic it's totally tragic <laughs> It doesn't work! In unrelated news, because that's how my brain works, it goes all over the place. Uh, my room is currently destroyed. I have a camera bag over there. I have my uh, racing wheel over here, which uh, maybe you can see the light's not that good. Let me uh, turn on the light. I'm gonna get zapped. Let's see if you can see it. Oh, that was bad. Okay. I have my racing wheel on the ground. I have a cajon over there, which if you don't know is like a drum percussion thing. Everything's all over the place. My computer's got bubbles on it. Like, what the heck? Why are there bubbles on my computer? Everything's crazy. This room is totally nuts. But, nonetheless, uh, hey. Okay, I guess I turned that off. But I had thought that I had not turned it off earlier. And uh, sometimes kicking the power switch over there by accident, just like makes it flicker, so I thought it kind of just went off on me. But apparently I had really turned it off to make the uh, rock salt look a little cooler. Anyways, my room is just, ah, I keep getting zapped, stop zapping me. Turn off that light, we're going back. So, the results are in, as I told you. Before we get into the results, how about a sick edit about this rock salt? I don't do edits that well, so I apologize in advance. Okay, so the results are in. I did some Googling, I did some YouTubing, I did some research, and it does seem like this kinda doesn't do what it says it's supposed to. It's supposed to release negative ions that counteract all the positive ions that come off of our TVs and all that stuff. Supposedly it releases negative ions, but it kind of really doesn't. There's been no proven facts that it does that or helps anything in terms of like breathing, relaxation, except maybe the fact that it's nice soft light. But Hey, do you guys remember? Look at, did you see that? There's a ghost, I have proof. This is proof, there's a ghost in my room, I'm not touching it. Usually if I sit at that chair, if my feet hit the like power strip underneath, it'll flick. I am way over here. That was not me. 100% ghost in my room. Anyway, like I was saying, so the salt lamp, other than the fact that it gives off a nice warm glow, you probably feel good when you're sitting around it because it's a warm light. It's not a harsh like office light or anything like that. It's really nice. So that probably does help. But it doesn't really release negative ions. They say it absorbs water and moisture and will like run and drip and stuff, which I think it will. It's This is pretty new, so it hasn't done it yet. But again, there's a million things that do that. Uh, it just so happens that because there's moisture in the air and there's salt and it's just absorbing some of the moisture and it kind of gets wet. There's nothing special about it. 
and humidity can be good for us, especially in these kind of dry winter months that we're in now. What's the point in removing all the moisture from the air? Which, like I said, it does, but not to a crazy extent, and I don't think it does it any better or any differently than a lot of other things in your house. So, debunked, this thing, as cool as it is and as sweet as it looks, doesn't actually do what it says. And it's probably not from the Himalayas. It's probably not salt. Just kidding, I licked it and it, I did not lick it. Figured I'd give you guys probably a pretty quick vlog this week, but I hope you enjoyed it. It's short, it's crazy, it's whatever. But we proved there's a ghost in my house. I don't know what the thumbnail is gonna be now or like the tag, like do I talk about this rock salt or, or do I talk about the ghost in my house? I don't know, but I have camera proof now that there's a ghost in my house. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog. Leave a like, I'm back in action. I know that I was, like I said, during Christmas time, took like four weeks off and didn't vlog anything. But I'm back, I'm writing down ideas as they come to me, so I'm ready for some vlogs. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, show me some love. You guys are the best, see you next time.